It's gotta be one of these places. The arsonist's a bug sprayer. It must have worked at one of these joints. Hello, YouTube. That wasn't much of a build-up to the last case in the game. Apparently we're at some random fucking parking lot. And we got a bunch of objectives. Uh, I don't know what that guy's problem is. I probably had the, uh, the need to go doo-doo and he's gonna run home or walk. Uh, locations, rapid extermination, exterminators, nuclear bug. Alright, let's go to this one. God damn it, get back in the car. <laughs> that was kind of dumb. But yeah, this is going to be last recording session. This is the last case in the game. Kind of makes me sad. Kind of makes me go, good, I can start something new. But it, it has been a wonderful, wonderful game. And, uh... Kind of sad to see it end, but uh, everything good good comes to an end at some point. So this is the first place where we will see if we can find our arsonist. You? Yes, you can, you Mister, fuck. How many guys you have working here, Pop? Who's asking, son? It could be official or unofficial. Depends on how you want to play it. You should get to a hospital, son. That arm of yours appears to be letting in daylight. Save the pity for the other guys. They're the ones who need it. I'm looking for a big cowboy who works pest control. Does he work here? We don't have anyone like that here. You sure? I'm not the type of guy you want coming back. Yeah, I'm sure. Ah, there's a newspaper. But first of all, as always, uh, Trindamir and machine guns will make it into the video, so say hello to YouTube. Uh, looking to play? No, I'm looking to offline. Because I always forget to do that. Apologies for that. I don't. I just don't like the things popping up, popping up, popping up, up. Not not up, popping up at the bottom of the screen. Uh, now we can look at the newspaper. Crusade against corruption. Peterson pledges to clean up LAPD. There's a lot of crooked cops. Much more than I thought. Oh. Is he dead? What have you got? Looks like a drug overdose. Get away from him, Phelps. This is my case. Shut your fucking mouth. Damn, when you tell him. does the man work a case? I knew this creep wasn't on the morphine heist. Victim of his own product. Hey, detective. Can we back it off a notch? This is getting out of hand. It's a time to talk and a time to shut up. Now is the time to be quiet, son. Courtney Sheldon was a corpsman, Roy. He served his country. He went out with a medical kit and an army 45 into places that made the valley of death look like a picnic. He was either naive enough or dumb enough to get involved in the suburban redevelopment fund, along with the mayor, the DA, Monroe, and a certain crooked cop. He was involved in the morphine heist, but he has a puncture wound in his jugular, which makes this a murder case. He was a better man than you'll ever know. You say one more word about him and I will blow your fucking head off! Damn. You finally lost it, partner. I have a pretty good idea why Sheldon's dead. And I know about Monroe. Your vast, corrupt future is draining away as we speak. <laughs> I got better things to do than argue the rub with you. Stay with him until the coroner gets here. Make sure technical services bags the evidence. If you let this creep anywhere near it, I'll come looking for you. Yes, sir. You know, Phelps. You're not the worst asshole going around. Damn, that was... That was pretty strong. I wouldn't be surprised if Earl shat his pants right there. That was pretty fucking awesome. Alright. Um... So it wasn't this place. Where's my car? Is it, is it this? On to the next location, which is nuclear bug and rodent control. As a train goes by, or whatever that is, but that was that was a pretty cool cutscene. It seems that uh, Cole still has some balls, some huevos, 
And on to the next place. Slays Bugs. Welcome to Nuclear. What can I do you for? I work for the DA. I need to speak with an exterminator. Big guy with a cowboy accent. We have only three people work here. Me and two Mexicans. They're both on the scrawny side. Thanks for your help. Ah, that was pretty straightforward. How did I even guess that it's going to be the last one? Of course. Alright, on to the last one, which was... Westlake Pest Control. On to that place we go. I'm fairly surprised he can still use that hand. Considering that it's probably been bleeding since last night. In which we stormed the fucking manor, mansion, estate, whatever. Please turn motor off. Good English, I speak. I talk. Hello. Can we talk? I work for the DA. I'm looking for a big cowboy who does extermination. Anyone like that working here? Well, I wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble. We could do this the hard way. An address? Yeah. He lives in a bunkhouse on the remains of the old Rancho Rincon. Thanks. Rancho Ribbity Doo. Thanks. Are we not gonna go there, or... Why is it loading? Oh, Fontaine's surgery. Yesterday. 6 p.m. Yesterday? The fuck? Cole! Hey, it's Fat Fuck. It. What's this got to do with me, Rusty? Dr. Fontaine, prominent shrink. Dead in his patient's room. Spine snapped like a twig. No! The suspect is one of his mental patients. I've met Fontaine. His last patient was Elsa Lickman, Cole. She's missing. <laughs> Nurse said that she saw some big Boris Karloff type carry her out of here. The best thing that you can do to help me, Rusty, is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This way. Alright, now we take uh, control of Cole. But damn! Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Are you serious? He was, he was my favorite character from the game. By far. Aww. Take your time. I'll give you and the doctor some privacy. Like we needed. The doctor has been marking this map. Yes, he was. Is there some writing on it? Is this good enough? Nope, it's not good enough yet. Edgewood Grove, McCarthy Vista, Crescent Heights, Rancho Escondido. Oh, that's the highway. Mean anything to you, Herschel? Yeah. How come? Are you not gonna tell what they mean? Ah, whatever. New houses, all being built on the path of the freeway. Or the freeway. The highway, freeway, freeway. Same thing, same thing. Ah, uh, yep, that is, that is pretty much it for that. Or is it? Yes, it is. There's another newspaper? The Face of Progress. Leland Monroe says Mayor of Developer. Mayor of Developer. Leland Monroe. All right, property tri tycoon has ten-year plan for city of Los Angeles. Monroe humbled by words of praise. That goddamn pet lunatic of yours is burning down our houses. Keep your voice down, Leland. Control is of the essence. Keep your voice down. You know how much these sons of bitches charge for lunch? Fuck them, Leland. We will not solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. We only speed ourselves on our way to the gallows. He's your imbecile, Harlan. Get him under control or get rid of him. Speaking of which, I've had to dispose of our young medical student. What? You certainly are a cold character, Harlan. He has a friend called Kelso, who knows all about the development on Normandy Avenue. 
I know about Kelso. And you thought it unimportant to inform me. I thought I could take care of it. And have you? No, I haven't. Kelso works for Benz. Is he reliable? No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Can you take care of Kelso? Don't push me, Harlan. Get rid of the fruitcake. It's no longer necessary. I'll take care of Jack Kelso. Oh, you certainly took care of him by letting him shoot you in the leg. Damn, he's awesome. There's some glass over here. Apparently the... The door is broke in similar fashion. Leland, listed below are the properties you want it accounted for. My associate has visited each and made a thorough survey. And from what he tells me, I gather these families and residents no longer require the assistance provided by our relocation program. And there's all of the houses. Monroe wasn't happy. People started dying and it attracted attention. He and the doctor lost control. This was not our arrangement. Your, associated, your associate is overstepping his mark. Damn. I, I think we went over there as well. Stefan's. And uh, definitely the Sawyer family. Alright. Um, wait. What is that? Oh, damn. Was he hit by this? Come on. Zoom in. So much for your foresight, Doctor. Crystal ball. I'm I'm surprised that didn't break. If that if that was ah not this one. Can I do more with it? Nope, cannot. Alright. Oh, there's even more here? Oh, there is. What is this? Uh, I have no idea what this is. Psychiatric report. Huh. Oh, it's probably the, uh... The, uh... The arsonist. I would assume. I, I didn't see any name. And I, quite frankly, don't have the patience to... There's a skull. Just skip through the whole paper, document, whatever. Alright. Oh, poor doctor. Destroyed by a monster of your own creation, Dr. Fontaine. I've heard that story somewhere before. Frankenstein, I believe. Or Frankenstein, if you want to say it in a German way. Hmm, your hands are cool. And, oh, what are you holding? A lighter? LH. Oh, is it IH? It is IH. Yes, it, it burns. It's a lighter. I don't know why. <laughs> why you would, uh, do that. There's still something else here it is it, it is this what else is there Fontaine was having oh. houses burned from Monroe yes yes he was I knew that uh, probably is it is it this no Liability, speak to Curtis, Daniels, Morelli, Plash, Plashinsky, Iceberg, Oatmeal, Quail, Nelson, 
Morningwood. Madsen States, Estates, whatever. So it's not any of those. And then there's this, which I can't even tap. So I think that is it for this. So much information. Okay, now it's gone. Alright. Ah, uh, then there's that. Can I go outside? I can. But how far can I go? Until the music turns off. It still hasn't. Well, all right, whatever. I don't. I don't think that there's anything out here. If there were, it would probably be on the porch. Wait, what is this? I can't check that. Looks pretty important. Where did my partner go? Huh. trying to find something but I don't I don't know what it is oh is there something over there nope I don't think so um Incidental. Incidental, of course. And there's morphine. There's a lot of morphine. Looks like Fontaine has finally dispensed his last treatment. Oh, har, har, har. You were so funny. Ah, that was probably it. Jack was wrong. It's not about insurance, it's about eminent domain. What are you talking about, Cole? The government reclaims the land in the path of the freeway and pays the improved value of the land with the new houses sitting on it. What about the stiffs who paid their deposits? Worst case, they get their money back. But the syndicate pockets millions on the improved value of the land. So where does Jack's boss come into it? He's the key. He carries the insurance. The insurance proves how much the houses are worth. And they're worth nothing? Firewood, all of them. That's about as neat a scam as you can imagine. How are we going to prove any of this, Cole? Doctor's dead. And Roll nearly bled to death. If they get Jack... We need the firebug. The Okie Cowboy. Get him, get Elsa. Get him, get all of them! Ooh, the plot thickens. Oh, this is exciting. I'm, I'm very much eager to see the end. Ranch Bunkhouse. Today. Ah, why are you going there at night? Or late evening, when it's dark. I guess he wouldn't be home during the day, since he'd be at work. Yeah, that's not an ominous-looking house at all. All broken down and... Investigate Rancho uh, Bacon. We shall investigate this place. Hey, wait a minute. I... Guess nobody's home. Go in. That's that's from the cutscene. Remember all the origamis and shit. A flamethrower. Most guys bring home a forty-five or an M1. This is pretty extreme. It's dripping with blood. Something was dripping. All right, let's look around this room first. And what is this? Incidental? Crawl a kill. Awesome name. There's a saddle. Awesome oh, chips. Can I have some? Can I has some chips? Guy has a has a slight obsession with folding paper. Seems like a nut job to me. Quite a flock you got here, kid. 
A strange obsession. It is. Anything more? No? Wait a minute. Ah! A plan. River tunnels. The river tunnels. This guy's a tunnel rat. A tunnel rat. Ah, something else. Unfold this. It's probably one of the flyers, yeah. Uh, anything witty to say about it? No, ap apparently not. So we should... <laughs> Why do you have to fold it back? That's that's dumb. Why would you fold that back? Ew, the That is just nasty. I don't want to go outside. Go back in. There's plenty of rooms to check. What was that? Oh, the pictures. I know those faces. Hey, that's Cole Phelps. Jesus Christ, I know every one of them. Oh my God, Ira. You poor backwards son of a bitch. Ira, who the hell is that? Peterson, I'm going to need some help. I've got Monroe, Fontaine, and all the others. It's all tied up nicely. It goes all the way to the top. Meet me at the L.A. River Tunnel entrance just north of the First Street Bridge in half an hour. Don't ask questions. Just be there. This is DA's investigator Jack Kelso. I have an urgent radio message for Detective Cole Phelps. All right. Now he... Well, they both now know who the, uh... KGB, I'm calling car 11 k 11 King, come in. Who the arsonist is. Go ahead, KGPL. 11K, see the man. A 207 just occurred on the spillway north of the First Street Bridge. DA's investigator Jack Kelso reports a kidnapping suspect outstanding in the Alley River Tunnel System with a hostage. 11K, handle Roger that. Three. The hell is Jack playing at? Like a suicide note. Half the LAPD will be down there hunting for us. We need to get there first. All units on all frequencies stand by. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit of suspect vehicle heading southwest on Sunset Boulevard. Suspect vehicle belonging to Jack Kelso. Described as a Navy Chevrolet Fleet Line. License number 4, William 028. 